this week on Life on Jupiter. After spending a month in the Bahamas, we now had what we came for. <laughs> now we are northbound and ready to check out for Florida. After enjoying Hoffman Cay and the Blue Hole on the Berry Islands, we headed directly east to Great Abaco. From here, we tracked up to Hopetown, and then finally, we would check out at Green Turtle Cay. Today's a big day. We are checking out of Bahamas for the States. We're going to be in the US in a few days time. We uh, I just have to go to the marina here um, to check out. Apparently this is nicely set up for, for yachts to come and go in the Bahamas. And then tomorrow we will leave early in the morning for Port Canaveral, go straight to uh, Port Canaveral. There's two rocket launches coming up end of this week. Uh, well, Saturday and Monday, uh, today being Monday as well. So yeah, Princess is busy editing, trying to finish a, a video to upload it while we still have internet now, because of course when we first get to the US, we'll have no internet until we can get ashore and buy uh, a T-Mobile SIM card um, and in fact that's the weird thing is the US uh, Border Patrol now we have to use an app to report our arrival and of course you need internet for that so before we can officially report, report for arrival we actually have to go shopping <laughs> and get a SIM card um, but that's what they do modern day so yeah, I'm about to go in now and check out. Got our documents. Let's go. So we're done. Not much to it. It was an online uh, Bahamas Customs thing we had to do. It's called Click to Clear and we created an outbound passage and that gives us a rotation number, which I had to write down on the form. So I filled in my own form for me and filled in a form for them and that's done. No passport stamp, nothing. Simple. We're going to America. This is the day. So we're yeah. leaving uh, Abacos and uh, it's 200 miles to go because we're way over on the eastern side of the Bahamas um, across to Port Canaveral and we'll be there tomorrow morning maybe it's going to be a light wind so maybe you've been there in the afternoon but yeah we are US bound <laughs> finally oh. I can't wait for the shopping shopping what shopping Amazon <laughs> I know, I'm having so much trouble with Amazon accounts. I cannot 
they just keep blocking me. I think it's because we have a Bahamas number, an American delivery address, and an Australian bank account. They just go, nah. 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 <laughs> anyway, hopefully we can. Hopefully. <laughs> we need stuff. Come on, yeah. Amazon, come on. We want to buy it. We don't want to sponsor Take it. my money. <laughs> Not good for our schedule. We are doing not much. <laughs> Why not? It's sort of forecast though, it was supposed to all drop off. Well, it's supposed to be five knots. And coming in from the southeast later at about uh, 7 pm, they say. But we're sort of in a a bit of a schedule because there's some there's a front a low pressure front coming down the coast and we'll be in Port Canaveral at about 9 p.m. tomorrow night so we want to be there before dark tomorrow because we don't want any northerly wind against the Gulf Stream So worst case, we have, what, 160 miles to go. Worst case is that we actually have to start the engine and motor the rest of the way. So, who knows? It'll, it may all turn around in about six hours and we'll be sailing. But, whatever. We can always duck into um, Fort Pierce, which is about 40 miles closer. Uh, if we were motoring, that's what we would do go there and then avoid the weather but it also means I'm gonna miss my rocket launch there's a launch on Saturday and the weather's crappy well the northerly anyway until Sunday and then there's another launch on Monday which we really want to see when I say we I mean me I want to see it yeah uh, good good miles to go to Cape Canaveral finally some wind came up yesterday uh, or last night about 10 o'clock before that we were motoring for six seven hours because we've got this deadline we've got this front coming down the coast we want to get in there before it arrives so we're doing good now we'll be there about 3 p.m. And we're in the current already, in the Gulf Stream. So I'm steering 260 degrees. We got 30 degrees adrift.
Well, I went off for a little sleepy. Come back and we're sailing north. <laughs> the wind had changed. Uh, the wind's gone right on the nose now, exactly to the west. And uh, the wind vane function of the autopilot turned us right and we were sailing with the current with us, uh, sailing along to the north. So we are back to motoring again now and we're doing a bit of crabbing. 40 degrees drift at the moment. Um, and because we're you know, having to face south into the current, we're only doing 4.8 knots on the, on the engine at high revs. With 30 miles to go, uh, tell you, this rocket launch better be worth it. <laughs> and then they cancel. They better not scrap. Almost. We're almost there. Yeah, almost at the end of today. We'll be there. 5 p.m. looking like now. That's Cape Canaveral. I'm not sure which launch pad that is, but it might be 39A because it looks pretty active. It's beautiful. Big storm at the moment, eh? Hey? Um, looks like it's going to miss us, which is good. So we're about four or five miles till we enter Port Canaveral. And then we're going to go through a drawbridge. And we have to do that after 5.15 because it's closed now because of peak hour. So we timed this arrival precisely. And then we got to go into the lock. And uh, I'm not sure if they lift us up or down. I guess it depends on the tide. But uh, yeah, then we're off into the Banana River. And then it's a couple of miles across Banana River into the, the Barge Canal. And then there's another drawbridge under there. And then we finally get into the Indian River and that's where we can get a SIM card tomorrow. <laughs> that's the nearest T-Mobile. Well, we are in Canaveral Lock. This is our first lock. First ever lock. Mm -hmm. They've just closed the gates. Uh, we're all tied up here to the side. It's uh, just started raining again. And uh, the water will only come up about one and a half foot, he said. So we may not even notice it, but we can see the concrete on the bottom. Not concrete, with a bottom rail. I guess that'll disappear. So we are almost... Oh no, I thought we were almost there. So it's 5.30. I still want to go another five miles through the canal. We don't have to. <laughs> Where are we going? Well, there's a canal to the next river, to Indian River. Um, and that's where we got to go for T-Mobile tomorrow, but maybe we just drop the hook here and 
chill and have a beer because uh, it's been a long couple of days. All right. Oh, the water's already come up. Yep. You can almost bottom rail covered now. You can see it. It's pretty fast. I don't know where the water's coming from, but. Oh, the front gates are open already. Is it? He said he'll tell us when it's time to go. So that's where it came from. The water coming in, see? Oh. It says caution, manatee area. <laughs> yeah. Is that a. Oh, the pelican looks like a statue. <laughs> Should we remove the... Okay, Captain, you can untie. Come on out, Mrs. Cameron. Untie. Hey. Can you do that one? Yeah. <laughs> We just got on the boat in Phuket and sailed and now we're in America. <laughs> it's like out of a movie because that's like every movie I've ever watched is from America. <laughs> Lovely weather. Lovely weather. <laughs> 